friends. Welcome to story time today. I'm so happy to be with you. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to read this book. It's called Hello Winter. Do you know why we're going to read a book about winter? It's our current season. It's the season we're in right now. In fact, we've been in the season of winter for several weeks now. I'm gonna show you a calendar. This is actually last month's calendar, December of 2020. It's not 2020 anymore. We are now in the month of January, 2021. I take a look here. On December 21st, that was the first day of the season of winter. I even wrote a W because winter starts with a W. W makes the w, w sound for winter. We're going to count, before I read my story, we're going to count to see how many days we have been in the season of winter. Okay, I want you to count with me. Are you ready? Here we go. We're going to start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to move over here to January. Okay, we're on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We have been in the season of winter for 21 days. It's been cold, We've been bundling up, maybe going outside a little bit less than we were, depending upon the temperature. Well, anyway, let's get to our book, friends. Hello, winter. Look at the cover of this book. These are not drawings. These are photographs that someone took with a camera. So these are real images that someone saw and they used a camera. Maybe they used their phone or an iPad the way you guys do sometimes. Hello, winter. By Shelley Rotner. She's the author and the photographer today. Look at this. This person is making a snowbird. They're flapping their wings in the snow making a snowbird. That looks like a lot of fun. All right, let me get closer so you can see the pictures better. The trees are almost bare. The days are getting shorter and colder. Winter is on its way. See that? There's still some leaves on the trees, but not many. It's almost bare. That means it's almost empty of any leaves. Soon it is the shortest day of the year and the first day of winter, the winter solstice. The sun sets early. People make fires and sing songs. Maybe you do that with your family. Maybe you set bonfires and sit around and roast hot dogs and marshmallows. That's a, tra a tradition for a lot of people. Ooh, there's a chill in the air. Look at her face. Looks like she's going, ooh. <laughs> Trees and plants stop growing and wait for warm spring days. Shadows are long. Look at those shadows. When something blocks the sun, it creates darkness making shadows. That's why we see shadows when something blocks the sunlight. It's cold. Ponds and rivers start to freeze. Ice crystals make delicate designs. 
Ice crystals are the formation of ice patterns in different shapes. And you have to look really closely. So those would be ice crystals, so beautiful. We can't wait for snow. Look at that face. Looks like she's looking out the window. And they're happy about it. They're happy about the winter. And then snowflakes start to fall and fall. Hooray! It's a snow day. These friends aren't staying inside. They bundled up and they're outside playing in it. Look at that. Wow. Snow is really coming down. It's falling from the sky. We bundle up mittens and hats. She's wearing mittens. Some of us don't wear mittens. Some of us wear gloves where something covers each one of our five fingers. He's got a hat on. Jackets and boots. Oh, look at her. She's crossing her arms because she's chilly. And boots? Why do we wear boots in the snow? Why is that important? Boots keep your feet from getting wet. And then they would be very cold and uncomfortable. We make snowballs. What do you think they're gonna do with that snowball? What would you do if you had that snowball? Would you throw it at somebody? Have a fun snowball fight? Make sure though, if you ever throw a snowball, make sure the other person knows because some people don't like that. Some people love it and it's so fun. And some people might say, no thanks, that's not fun for me. <gasps> They're building snow forts, shelter, and snow people. Look at that. This snow person has a crown on their head. That must be the snow king. <laughs> and he's giving it a hug. Too funny. We sled and slide. Wow, this place is crowded. These people are having a lot of fun though, riding on their sleds. We ski and skate. We snowshoe. So this guy has special shoes on where it helps you get through the snow. This person has ice skates on. I know some of you friends went ice skating over our winter break. I saw some pictures. Looked like a lot of fun. And snowboarding? I guess that's kind of like skateboarding without the wheels. And just slide in the snow. Look at her, she's so adventurous. Frozen icicles hang. So that's when water freezes in midair and it makes a long, hard icicle. I think those look so cool, but I never want to stand underneath of them. I'm always scared they're gonna fall on me. Beautiful ice patterns form. Look at that, patterns in nature. Hot chocolate and a fire keep us warm. Animals must keep warm too. They adapt to the cold weather. So that means they sort of change the way they live. And some animals even grow more fur, like birds, it says here, grow more feathers. Mammals grow more hair. Mammals are creatures like this or this. They're animals that have backbones. Mammals also create milk for their babies. So guess what? Me and you, we're mammals. We have backbones 
and when we have children, we can make milk for them. So, you're a mammal, I'm a mammal. This sheep's a mammal. This dog's a mammal. So cool. Most animals have to search hard to find food. They leave tracks in freshly fallen snow. So you can see the impression from where their feet sink into the snow. Probably makes that crunchy sound. Some animals build nests or find shelter, so a place to stay. Others slow down. Some go underground or underwater to keep warm. Other animals sleep or hibernate for the winter. We talked about hibernating last week when we read Copy Me, Copy Cub. Bears are one of many animals that hibernate. Remember in Copy Me, Copy Cub, they found a cave that they were gonna sleep in all winter long. Stay away from the, the cold wind. In winter's short days, we celebrate holidays with lights and decorations. So you might not be familiar with all of these holidays. This here, this is a special um, candle holder called a menorah. People who are Jewish celebrate something called Hanukkah and they light a candle each night of Hanukkah. You might recognize this tree though. Someone decorated it up more like a Christmas tree with ornaments. Most of us, this is how we celebrate um, in the winter. Here, there's a person celebrating um, Chinese New Year. That's a holiday in February. And I think that this child is celebrating Las Posadas. It's similar to our Christmas, but Hispanic people tend to celebrate Las Posadas. And I don't know about you, but on New Year's Eve, I heard fireworks. A lot of people will uh, shoot off fireworks to celebrate the new year, the excitement of all the things that could happen, or also to celebrate all the great things that did happen in the prior year. Then the sun grows stronger, snow and ice melt, the ground thaws. Trees and plants begin to wake up. The days get longer and longer. And then spring is finally here. And that is the end of our story today. Hello, winter. I know tomorrow we're going to read another book about winter, but it will not be photographs. It will be illustrations, drawings, and, or paintings by someone. And I know later this week, um, you'll get the opportunity to go outside, hopefully, if the weather permits. Um, anyway, we'll talk about that on a different day. I hope you enjoyed our story, looking at some of these pictures. I'll see you soon. Bye.